All right, guys, first things first, you're gonna head over to the Steel Series website here. I have a link for it down below. And you're gonna download the software for either Windows or Mac. Once you have it downloaded, you're gonna go ahead, create an account and log in. It's gonna look something like this. Next, we're gonna click the Sonar tab over here. And underneath the game section here, you're gonna go ahead and select your playback device. Go ahead and select your Steel Series headset game. If you don't have a Steel Series headset, just go ahead and select whatever headset you're using. Underneath the chat tab, go ahead and do the same thing. Select the Steel Series, and this time you're gonna select the chat version. Again, if you don't have Steel Series, you're just gonna select whatever headset you have. Underneath media, we're gonna go ahead and select Steel Series game again. And again, if you don't have Steel Series, go ahead and just select your headset. Underneath the aux section, we're gonna go ahead and select our speakers for playback. And if you don't have speakers, you can just go ahead and disable this channel. Underneath mic, we're gonna go ahead and select our headset input. And you can just go ahead and use your desk mic. If you have a desk mic or whatever microphone you're using, you're gonna select that now. I have my mic volume set to 80%. Everybody's mic will be different and your volume will be different than mine. But if you want, you can go ahead and set that to 80%. Next, we're gonna head over to the game section here. And now yours might look something like this. We're gonna go over here to the presets. We're gonna click flat. And SteelSeries has been adding in a ton of presets over the past couple months. So now there's literally a preset for almost every game it's ridiculous so if you're looking for valorant go ahead and just type in valorant and you'll see valorant right here by phase if you're looking for rainbow six siege go ahead and type in rainbow six siege and you'll see a bunch of options in here now i'm going to go ahead and select the cod warzone 2 preset because this is what i play the most and this software is really nice because you can fully customize everything to your liking but i like to leave mine where it's at it's actually a lot like the one i used to use the only thing we're going to do here is turn up the bass to 3.0 we're going to turn spatial audio on and everybody's headset is going Going to be different but these are just the settings that i use i set it to headphone mode i put the tuning all the way over to performance for my headset and i put the distance to 80. next we're going to scroll down and we're going to put the gain to 7.0 and we're going to turn smart volume off if you just want better audio that's pretty much all you need so make sure you like comment subscribe if it helped you but for people who want a little bit more information i'm going to go through the rest of the tabs for you so next we're going to go over to chat now i like to leave chat on flat because everybody's going to have different microphone settings set up and if you start messing with the presets you can mess up their mic settings and it would just sound completely different but you can go through and find another one that you like if you want but i'm going to continue on with flat we're going to turn on clearcast ai noise cancellation and we're going to set this to 50 percent if you don't have access to the clearcast ai noise cancellation you can always turn on the noise reduction down here and for my settings if you don't have access to the noise cancellation background is set to 0.40 impact is set to 0.70 compressor is off and no matter what you're going to have your noise gate on and you're going to have it set to negative 55. You could also just do the automatic threshold, but I like to have mine set. These settings will basically block out any noise coming from your friend's mics, which is actually very nice if they don't have their mic set up. All right, the next tab, we're going to go over to media. In media, underneath the preset, we're going to select music deep bass. But if you like to watch a lot of movies and TV shows, I would recommend movie immersion. We're going to continue with music deep bass though. Make sure the equalizer is turned on and we're going to set the bass to 2.0. For my headphones, we're going to turn spatial audio on. We're going to make sure it's on headphone mode. We're going to set the tuning to negative six for performance and immersion. We're going to set the distance to 100. We're going to keep volume boost off and we're going to keep smart volume off. If you don't have speakers, you can skip this part. And I have to set my speakers up for movies. And for my speaker setup in particular, I have my bass set to 3.0. I have spatial audio turned on and I have it set to speaker mode. I have the tuning all the way over to immersion and I have the distance set to 40. But again, everybody's spatial audio is going to be different. Volume boost, I have set to zero. Smart volume again, I have off. All right, we're done in the aux tab. Let's head over to the mic. Underneath mic, everybody's microphone is going to be different yet again. Everybody's preset is going to be different. I like to use clarity low pitch, so I'm going to continue with that one. We're going to make sure that the equalizer is on. Again, we're going to turn on the clearcast AI noise cancellation. And for my mic in particular, I have it set to 25. If you don't have access to the clearcast AI noise cancellation, for noise reduction, we're going to turn background on and set it to 0 0.30. Impact, we're going to turn on and set it to 0 0.70. Compressor, we're going to turn off. Noise gate, we're going to turn on on and set to negative 43 or you could have it automatically detected for you but i like to have mine set i'm going to go over how to do app to device routing right now if your app to device routing doesn't look like this i have an older video on my channel a link down below that you can use to do app to device routing everything's probably going to be underneath game you're going to want to take your netflix your disney plus whatever you use google chrome here like youtube and stuff and you're going to want to move all those underneath your media section that's because your game section is set up for pacific 
specifically Call of Duty or Valorant or Siege or whatever you're playing. You don't want your movies and stuff playing underneath this. You want your movies underneath the media section. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like, comment with how it did. If it didn't, comment how it didn't. Subscribe to the channel if it did. And I also have a gaming channel. Make sure you guys go check that out. Uh, subscribe to that, support that. I'm trying to get that channel up and rocking. Um, it's looking pretty nice. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Audi. Pa -pa -pa. Peace.